Mommy, look, my room is all clean. Your room is all clean? Yes. <gasps> oh, it does look all clean. You did so good. I did a great job cleaning up. Yeah, you did. Good morning. Good morning. What is today? Preschool. Yes, we do have preschool, but what is today? October 31. Yes, what happens on October 31? We go trick-or-treating in our neighborhood. Yeah, it, today is Halloween. Look over there in the window. What about it? It's Halloween. Yes, it is Halloween. He seems so excited. <laughs> Good morning. What, baby? Good morning. Good morning. You hear that? Yeah. Porter, what is today? The gray gray. Where's gray gray? I don't know where gray gray is. What's today? No, Felix. <laughs> Felix is in here. Here comes gray. There's Grayson. Oh, he's growling. What are you doing? Porter, what's today? What's today, Porter? Today is Halloween. No, the 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 go to zoo. We go to the zoo. We went to the zoo yesterday, didn't we? No. We went trick or treating. But oh. today is Halloween. We get to go trick or treating in our neighborhood. I want. I want the ghost. You want a ghost? Yes. Oh. I didn't know we had a ghost. Oh. It's Halloween. No. It's the no. spookiest day. No, no go. Okay. Who says go? Oh, you want me to go? Yes. Do you want a vitamin? No. You don't want a vitamin? Who wants to go? We got to pick out his Halloween outfit. I don't think he has a cool one like you, Gray. No, I will. Milk. You want milk? No. Well, as you can see, Porter is a sassy two-year-old and is not excited for Halloween. But Grayson is, and I am. Halloween is always fun in doses. So we're going to get them dressed and get Gray ready for preschool. Porter, say hi. over some dogs. How about I get over some dogs? We jump over dogs? Yes. Mm. We're, we are listening to Jack jump over the candlestick, and Grace says we don't jump over candles, but we do jump over dogs. No, I'm not quite sure why, but we are getting ready this morning. Gray's eating breakfast. Porter's not really eating breakfast. Gray's all dressed for Halloween. He's got his pumpkin shirt on or jack o' lantern shirt, I guess. Porter and I don't have Halloween shirts. I'm gonna have to go because they're gonna turn on the music. <laughs> okay, I'm back. They turned on the music and I can't record during it because of copyright issues. But like I said, we're just getting ready this morning, getting ready to take grade to preschool. Today is Halloween. It's on a Monday. So um, we actually get to celebrate Halloween, like trick or treat on Halloween. Because where we live, if Halloween falls on like a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, they push it to the Thursday before. I don't really understand why. I never had to do that growing up, but in Columbus, that's just how it is. But since Halloween is on a Monday, we get to trick or treat tonight. Gray is going to go to preschool and I'm sure do Halloween stuff there. It's H week. Each week is a different letter. And so how perfect that H week is this week for happy Halloween. So that'll be fun. He already had his preschool Halloween party, so I don't really know what they're going to do today. And then while he's at preschool, Porter and I are going to go to the grocery store and meet up with my mom. We are hosting Halloween tonight because we're in our new neighborhood. So all my 
siblings are gonna come over well the ones that live in town and then my parents are gonna come over too my mom's gonna bring over like chili for dinner and i'm just gonna have like chips and like a meat tray and stuff but like i don't have any of that stuff so i need to run to the store and get um just appetizers and things like that and drinks and then i'm also worried that i don't have enough candy it's hard being here for the first year because we don't know like how many kids are gonna come by it was saying rain all day today now it's saying just like a 30 percent chance of rain starting at six which of course is right when trick-or-treat starts so i don't know if it's gonna rain or not usually in ohio it rains on halloween i don't know why it's just like a rite of passage yes or last year um we got like maybe a half hour in and then it just poured the rest of the night so I'm hoping this year is better, but if it's bad, the kids don't really care. Um, I'm sure Gray will last longer than Porter will. So we'll see. I'll definitely record us going and trick-or-treating. Um, and all my siblings will come. They're like the kids' entourage. They just follow them house to house. And Anthony and I kind of do the work and take them up to the doors and stuff. So I'm excited. We're in a nicer neighborhood than we used to be. So I think like candy will be good and um the neighbors will be nice so i'm excited and yeah i just feel like we need more candy i made the mistake of buying candy like a month ago and it was on sale like oh good i'll save money and then anthony found the candy and he's been eating it <laughs> so yeah that's why i'm worried i don't have enough candy and i just don't know how many kids like come down our street it's it's so hard to know like we're in the back of our or like the middle of our neighborhood really but i don't know I don't know. So <laughs> I'm just going to get more because I'd rather have too much candy than not enough candy. And my kids are eating candy like crazy. They're already starting out this morning. They're having M&M's this morning. Whatever. Anyway, I got to get the kids ready. We got to leave in five minutes. So I'll just pull out the camera here and there as I go throughout the day. Let's go the You playing with the magnets? We're making pumpkin faces with magnet tiles. Waiting for story time. We already went to the grocery store and got party stuff. Yay, good job, buddy. Look at his face. He's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> okay so we are back from the library back from picking grayson up at preschool preschool is so much fun did you have fun today at preschool but now i want to play a ball game i want to play mousetrap okay he's already on to a board game he's so into board games right now um, but he had a good day. He did some like Halloween coloring sheets and I don't know what else. Interestingly, they gave us um, his assessment for preschool. So they do this once a year, like in the fall. And then they like write out how your kid's doing. And then if you want to, you can have like a phone call with the teacher. This year we got Grayson's assessment. So most of it's pretty good. Sorry, these are Porter socks. He separates easy from parent. He interacts with peers appropriately, which I was kind of surprised on because his social skills sometimes are lacking. He's independent and um, can find his name in print, of course. He has sometimes problems with his water bottle and backpack, which is so true. He forgot his water bottle like three days in a row last month. Doesn't always listen to verbal directions. Yeah, I noticed that too, <laughs> but that's like a four-year-old. Uh, sometimes doesn't participate in group, group activities. That sounds about right. And then his writing, he's still working on his first name. The baby is The cleanup here. time, they said the exact same thing last year. He doesn't really help with cleanup time. And I talk to him every day about him helping clean up. So we're working on it. The two that he needs to work on is holding tools correctly. So like pencil and pen, and then using scissors correctly. Pretty much everything I knew that they were gonna say um, nothing really new. So, um, basically saying he's doing really good and he just needs to continue working on cutting with scissors and writing with pencils because his grip is 
like lacking. So actually really good. I'm always kind of nervous to see how they're gonna rate him. I know he does good academically, like he can read. I'm sure most of the kids in his class cannot even do that yet. It's mostly like the social skills that I was worried about and I was shocked that she said that he actually does really good interacting with other kids. So obviously his last year at preschool really helped him because last year that's what they said he really needed to work on was his social skills. And so now he's doing so good at that. So now it's just like nitpicking like scissors and writing, which like I didn't even realize they do that in preschool. So all in all, it's really good. I don't even know if I'm really going to do like a conference call with his teacher. Um, I guess I'll think about it, but it doesn't really seem like there's that much to talk about. Hi. What, you, what are you eating? A jigga nugget. We're starting to get ready for trick or treat tonight. I've got all the candy out in our bowl and then we got extras because I'm just so nervous I'm gonna run out of candy. We got Ella, chips uh, for tonight Ella, for the kids. Uh, um, that's my lunch. Chili, my mom made, she's making another Ella. one. I also have a meat tray and a veggie tray in the fridge that I'll bring out. And we got drinks. So now I just need to, during nap time slash quiet time is just kind of pick up and clean because our house is looking a little messy. <laughs> so I need to do that. I think everyone's gonna come around four. Anthony's in the office today. So I told him you need to come back at like lunchtime. So hopefully he's leaving the office soon because I swear Halloween traffic, everybody's trying to get off work fast and get to trick or treat because it's at six and it's just the traffic is always so bad. And I was like, you cannot miss this. So hopefully he's on his way home soon. Yeah, who are you? Tigger. Tigger. And who are you? Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> they're from Disney World. They, yeah, they're in Disney World. Yeah. Oh, are you guys so cute? <laughs> they are so excited to go trick or treating. And you guys. Oh, you probably can't even see. It's. Oh, here. That's a better one. It's 410. It's 410. It's not even like we have two more hours <laughs> until trick or treat but they were like well grace started it he's like i want to put my costume on and i was like now we have like two more hours he's like i want to put it on i'm like why not and then of course porter saw him put it on so then he had to put him on so now we've got our costumes on and we have a while for trick or treat i've got mostly everything out i'm waiting for everybody to come over anthony is finally on his way home from work he was supposed to hey close the door he was supposed to leave earlier and now he's just now leaving and it's four o'clock. He's going to hit the crazy traffic. So good luck to him. Hopefully he makes it in time. I mean, he has two hours, so he will, but he stresses me out sometimes. I swear those husbands, but I've got the snacks out. I just have to pull out the meat and cheese tray and the, the veggie tray. But other than that, we're ready. So we're excited. Go trick, go Halloween. And best of all, it was pouring rain this morning when I took grade to preschool. And it looks like there's going to be no more rain for the rest of today. And it's like 60, 64 out right now. So it's actually warm and it's actually not going to rain on us. So this is like the best Halloween weather wise ever. So we'll see how long the boys last tonight. Um, it'll be interesting. We'll, we're definitely going to bring the wagon. So we will see how it goes um i'm thinking we're gonna get a lot of candy and hopefully we pass out a lot of candy because we have a ton and i don't want to keep it <laughs> anthony will eat it and then get mad at me for having it and i will eat it and get mad at myself so hopefully we have a lot of trick-or-treaters <laughs> go ahead porter. porter porter go say trick-or-treat go say trick-or-treat port <laughs> go, well yeah go go say trick-or-treat go, go get trick -or -treat. more <laughs> Come on, come on. Come see Chicka Cheese. We're out trick or treating. Here comes Daddy and Porter. <laughs> come on, Porter. <laughs> Porter's already gotten tired. <laughs> Woo! 
Jupiter, did you get lots of candy? We did, we made it just about just about an hour. He's <laughs> dragging it. There goes Gray. We made it an hour and now they're tired. The porter's been carrying this sucker ever since like the first house. He's dragging it. <laughs> There's Gray. Having fun. Go ahead. You gonna dump it, Port? Whoa! The stickers they're yucky. Porter is playing with the stickers and putting them all over me. So there's that. Are you having fun with that? Don't eat it. Don't eat it. It's yuck. Build a house. Build a house. We have been building a house. We want to keep building it. It's right there. Can you say hi? I want milk. You want milk? We have to go upstairs if you want milk. You can see Porter, her husband, in the candy. Um, he's got it all over his face. Um, I never ended the vlog yesterday. We had so much fun trick-or-treating. The boys loved it. Gray went for about an hour. And he still wanted to keep going. And definitely towards the end, like, Porter was into it for the first 20 minutes, maybe. And then he just wanted to sit in the wagon. But then he got FOMO. So then he'd have to go up to every house. And Gray got tired towards the end, too. But every time we'd get to a house, he would run and jump out and run up and get candy. And he he started by only taking one piece. And then as the night wore on, he kept saying one or two. And then he would change it to three or four. And I was like, Gray, we do not need that much candy. But he was loving it. We uh, finished after an hour, which seemed like most of the neighborhood kids were done about an hour because we only got trick-or-treaters for like the first hour and then it was done. And after a while being inside, he wanted, Gray wanted to go back out and do more, but we distracted him. Okay, sorry, Porter was having a meltdown. He couldn't get a toy out. Um, but yeah, he wanted to go back out. And this morning, even when we were getting ready to go to preschool, he was like, are there trick-or-treaters coming to our house? I was like, no, great. Trick-or-treat is over. So he's sad that the holiday is over, but we have plenty of candy. Um, he isn't even really that into candy. Like Porter is my candy monster. He will eat candy forever. Gray just has a little bit here or there. He just liked the going up and knocking on doors and getting candy and running to the next house so he's at preschool now we're actually gonna go get him in a couple minutes porter and i are just playing in the basement killing time um but it was a great halloween the weather was beautiful it was like 60s no rain no wind it was i never seen halloween weather that nice oh my goodness porter he has been so saucy today so the weather was amazing. Best weather I've had in Halloween in a long time. Um, some of my siblings came over, so that was fun, and they walked with Gray. And the dogs were loving the leaves, and they were, like, running around the leaves and getting zoomies from it. So it was a super fun night, and now it's over. So now we're on to November. Everybody's talking about, like, Christmas already, and I just, I'm not there yet. So I'll think about it. <laughs> but... Porter is having meltdown, so I gotta go, but I'll just close out this vlog. Thank you for watching. What did your kids dress up for Halloween? Let me know down below. Next Halloween, I will have three kids to dress up and do trick-or-treating, so that just blows my mind. So anyway, I will close out this vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!